See, when someone says you're moxie, what a compliment. It means you have character. It means you're determined. It means you have, it means you have courage. Kurt Jacobs has all the above because he is the host of Moxie Talk. Uh, Moxie Talk has been on forever. They got, have had hundreds of great guests, but you're my guest today, so it's a little bit different being in that it's position, isn't it? Interesting. <laughs> well, tell me about Moxie Talk because it's not just a TV show. You're on all kinds of platforms, we're right? On all the social media platforms. You know, we've, we're going into our 15th year next year. We've done 275 interviews, roughly. We'll probably hit 300 by the end of 2019. So it's uh, pretty fun. Congratulations. Thank you. So we have a podcast, all the social media, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and have a fully built-out website where you can watch the videos 24-7 anywhere in the world as long as you got the Internet. Man, I would take some lessons from you. I'm, I think I'll just walk <laughs> off set and let, no, you, let you have the show. No. <laughs> You're fantastic. You're the man, I do you. love your work. Thank you. Uh, it tell means me a about, lot coming from you. Is some of your favorite guests that you've had on, Kurt, because you've had on lots of folks yeah. and lots of celebrities. So your mm -hmm. favorite guests? My favorite guest is, uh, you know, sadly we lost John Asher last year. He was one of my favorites way back when, I guess in 2008 or so. And then Dean Corbett, mm -hmm. we lost the chef. But one that really inspired me, she came on in uh, 2017, her name's Summer Dickerson. She's a reformed or recovered prostitute, turned her life over to Christ, gets ladies off the street. I'm really cliff noting her, the phenomenal aspect of her experience or life journey. And she does Women of the Well ministry. Just wow. an unbelievable story and she spends 30 or 40 minutes with me explaining how she was almost killed on a call and how God saved her and she was not really religious or believed in God during that incident. And she said, I'll give my life over to you if you get me out of this. And God did wow. and she turned her life over to God. So those are the ones that are pretty remarkable. Wow. And then to have a former politician or former person in a leadership position get emotional, which is not my goal, to right. be honest. I'm not trying to do Barbara Walters. Uh, that tells me that there's a real connection that people want to tell their story. And the way I created the program is they're the subject. You know, it's not their latest achievement, their latest book or movie or their latest um, event that they were involved with. It's their journey. And you want stories. Yeah, I want stories. That's, why that's our, that's our subline or subject line. Uh, stories we're sharing. We well, came up with that. So I can tell that some of these stories inspire you. Is, is that mm -hmm. the mission of the show? Uh, with Moxie Talk, with, mm -hmm. with Kurt Jacobs, as you see now. Is that, is that the mission of the show, to inspire people or to, like you said, when you tell a story, usually it's with a mission or with a direction. Sure. So when you, is it, is it enjoyment, entertainment, uh, or a little of everything? It's educatainment, if that's a word. <laughs> but, edutainment. Uh, but but for, for us, our mission is to inspire, educate, and engage the human spirit one guest at a time. So my philosophy is, and I tell our team, that if somebody watches the discussion and they're not, they don't know me, they don't know the guest, they have internet access, they're somewhere on the planet and that changes their life or they get a nugget that gives them an idea to do something, then I look at it as I've paid it forward uh, to a fellow human being. And that's, I've had moments throughout these almost 15 years of experiences where I feel like that has happened. Well, you, you know, Kurt, because you and I do basically the same thing or similar things, similar. I think a lot of an interviewer's to me, to make an interview interesting, it's all about trust. Mm -hmm. And it's all about having the, the person that you're interviewing believe in you and know that you're trying to take them around a, to a good direction. Have you ever been surprised by someone that you were interviewing, uh, a guest, then you go, wow, I can't believe they just revealed that on live television? Yeah, I've had that. I won't mention names, but I've had a, a rather stoic individual um, that never was showed much emotion, at least publicly, get fairly emotional talking about the sudden death of his father in a car accident and it was not in any of my research and you could hear a pin drop in the studio I, I use a pretty simple process of three cameras and about two or three people and then the guest and myself and if we really achieve greatness which we do with almost every one of them the cameras melt away and there's this I, I call it this angelic dance that begins that goes yes. on between two people and you see that connection in the eyes and for me it's just it's just unbelievable and I know that my time with them is very finite but I know that moment is captured on film forever and eventually these will be archived and we can talk about that later. All right, so for those who are very familiar with Moxie Talk, and lots of folks are because, as we mentioned, multi-platform, very popular, it's been going on for quite some time. If there was maybe a guest that they'd like to see you interview, how, how would they get in touch with you? Because I think, I think they go, okay, we're going to put him to the test here. I want to hear this story. <laughs> well, you could just simply email me, Kurt, K-I-R-T, at moxietalk.com. 
Uh, tell me the name, first and last name, why we should interview them. Because not only do they have to have an engaging story, they have to be able to tell it. I mean, there's a, there's a reality to sure. media. You know, if it's not entertaining or it's not, well, not necessarily entertaining, if it's not engaging or interesting, people may not watch all of it. And that's not fair to the guest or, or to the team as well. So that's how you do it. You just email me. Interesting. It's, the website's there. You just Kurt at MoxieTalk.com. Is there, is there a certain guest, celebrity or not, politician or not, that you have on your bucket list? You say, I'd love yeah. to sit down with him or her. There's two. Okay, here One's we go. One's standing in front of me. Oh, let's do it then. Let's go. No, that's a compliment. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. And the other one is Lonnie Ali. Ooh, I, I can help you make that happen. Okay. She, she would enjoy a conversation with you. I hope so. I hope so we can make that happen because I believe, not getting too much off on a tangent, that what she did in her journey with Muhammad needs to be documented. I her agree. story. Nothing against Muhammad and what he achieved. That's, that's well documented. But her story. And I really believe firmly because of her, and I get a kind of emotional thing about the moxie that she displayed is what kept wow. him alive, frankly. You know what? I agree. Uh, she is the essence of Muhammad, and I don't mean to go on and on about sure. this, but I admire her to the level that I admired Muhammad now because I see the way she works. I see her spirit and her heart are similar to Muhammad's, but she does have moxie. Yeah. It, it may not be in a boxing ring, but yeah. she has moxie in the business world sure. and compassion, true compassion mm -hmm. for people. The composure right. she showed with the eulogy mm -hmm. at Muhammad Ali's funeral. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I, I, Phenomenal. She's, uh, she's worthy. She'd be a worthy guest. That's, that's a good one on happen. your bucket list there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, now, for those who want to watch Moxie Talk, real quickly, how can they make it happen? We mentioned uh, just the multi-platforms. MoxieTalk.com. Everything's open 24-7 online. You can text me as well if you've got an idea for a guest. And um, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad we got fun. to have this little chat here. I, I look forward to coming on your show. I appreciate it. And I am a fan of yours, man. Yep. You do a great and job. we've got a 10 out at the backside of the Derby this year. Probably going to be at Bourbon and Beyond. We, we tend to go out to these festivals right. and do more of the man on the street, so it's not as formal. But we get two or three nuggets out of people that we wouldn't normally get that maybe aren't in town all the time. So That's because you're good in that environment. Well, we try. <laughs> Make it natural. That's right. Yeah, there's a big it team all... that makes me look good behind me. Trust it me. all happens organically with Kurt Jacobs. Yeah. Moxie talk. All right, coming up here, speaking of happening organically and